Today I'm going to show you how you can have your cutout characters react with different facial expressions to the answers that you choose in your quiz questions. So I saw this message on the forums from Timothy who wrote, how do you get a script to interact with the same image, different name, across multiple slides? And he goes on to further explain that uh, he's got a basic character image in his quiz that on correct executes a script, replace the default character image with either a success or failure image. And presumably you're going to want to do this with your captions as well. So I've decided to take this on as a little bit of a challenge because I think Timothy is about 90% there based on what he wrote here. Um, but you know, just maybe needs a little bit of help here. And I just happen to know something about advanced actions that I think might help him out here. So in this case here, I've got my multiple choice question. There's nothing unusual about it other than the fact that I've relocated some of the objects to make room for a multi-state object character uh, of Angela here. And in this case, Angela's default state will be sort of a neutral, relatively happy state. And we also have a state where if you've answered the question incorrectly, she's not going to look too happy about that. But also a correct state where she's giving you two thumbs up as well. Similarly, I have this object here, which is my feedback caption. I'm not using the regular feedback captions just because of the way quiz questions work. Instead, I'm using my own multi-state feedback caption. Its default is to be not visible in output because I'm also using it as my button to proceed forward. So I don't want someone to accidentally click it before they've answered the question. Now, in this case here, it's also a multi-state object. I've deleted the rollover and down states that would be created when you use a shape as a button. And I've set up the incorrect caption, which shows incorrect, click here or press Y to continue. And also correct, click here or press Y to continue. And if I go back to the normal state and take a look under the actions tab, you'll see that the on success action is to go to the next slide. And additionally, to get the whole press Y to continue to work, I've added a shortcut key using the letter Y. So in this case here, we're pretty much all set to go. If I go to my quiz panel, I can add a very simple advanced action for correct and incorrect. But the problem is, is that if I duplicate this slide, I'm duplicating or copying the same script and it's not going to be pointing at any new objects that I create, new captions, new images of Angela for additional slides. So let's take a look first of all at the advanced action here. Uh, in this case, this is the correct version of the advanced action. The incorrect one is very similar. Uh, we're going to show the feedback caption because remember it's not visible in output. We're going to change the state of Angela to correct, again to show the two thumbs up, and change the state of the feedback caption to display the correct message. Similarly, let's just look at it from here. The incorrect caption again shows the feedback caption and changes the states of these two objects to incorrect. Now to make this work so that you can duplicate the slide real easy and just change the question, all we need to do is create a shared action. This way you just need to change one or two parameters and if you do it right, you don't even need to do that. So let's save this as a shared action. Let's give it a description. Shared action for the correct results. And we just need to provide a description for each of the parameters in our shared action. So uh, this is the feedback caption. This is the image of Angela. This is the correct state for Angela. And this is the correct state for our feedback. Great. So now I'm going to hit save. I'm going to click OK. And I can now close this advanced action. So let's utilize the shared action we've just created. 
We'll go and change this from execute advanced action to execute shared action. And we have, of course, our shared action already selected. Let's click on the action parameters and then assign those parameter values. So this is the feedback caption, so we'll select feedback caption. This is the image of Angela, so we'll select Angela. This is the correct state for Angela and the correct state for our feedback. Hit save and that's now done. So now we just need to do the same thing with our failure situation. So we'll click on advanced action for the incorrect state. We'll save this as a shared action. We'll just give it a description here. We'll put in feedback caption here, image of Angela, incorrect state of image, incorrect state of feedback, and that should be enough of a cue for us there. So now we have a shared action for incorrect. Let's change this to execute shared action, choose the incorrect shared action, and then let's just click on the action parameters here and make sure that we've got the right objects selected and the right states. This is incorrect and incorrect, and we'll hit save. So now we have both here. And what we can do now, here's one of the neat tricks of shared actions. So if I was to simply duplicate this slide and change the text of the question stem, as well as the answer and the distractors, I don't need to do any further uh, advanced action work at all. So I've duplicated it once, we'll duplicate it twice, and we'll do it a third time here. So now I'm just going to go to slide three and come up with a new question for this particular uh, situation here. What political party does Trudeau lead? And we'll put in liberal, conservative, NDP, green. So for slide four or our third question, uh, let's put in what is the capital city of Canada? Correct answer is Ottawa. A distractor could be Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. So for our fourth question, select all that apply. What are the official languages of Canada? In this case here, I'm going to change the question to a multiple answer. Select the second one here, and let's just select English, French, Spanish, Italian. So now we have our four questions. Again, I've not done any additional uh, advanced actions or shared actions on the subsequent slide. You'll see actually if I select one of the duplicated slides, it's still pointing at the correct shared action and the incorrect shared action. But of course, what's automatically changed when you duplicated that is that it's pointed to the duplicated objects and the duplicated states of each of those objects. So this will work as often as you can duplicate this slide. Let's just do a preview so you can see that in action. So here we go. Let's start. Who became Prime Minister in 2015? Let's get this correct. Justin Trudeau. Submit. We get the correct message and we get two thumbs up from Angela. What political party, it should write, does, does Trudeau lead? And the correct answer is liberal. We'll get that correct. Again, we get the positive reinforcement from Angela there. What is the capital city of Canada? We'll get this wrong. We'll say Toronto. Submit. Oh, she doesn't look too happy with our answer. Incorrect. Click here or press Y to continue. And let's get this one correct again. English and French are the two official languages of Canada. And again, we get two thumbs up from Angela. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. 
If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.